Hey y'all, what's up? This is Eric Johnson. I'm gonna make this short, simple, and sweet. Florida State, y'all must still be in a hyperbolic time chamber because y'all training did not really improve y'all football skills knowing damn well y'all could have won this damn game. And see, I wanted more for you, Florida State. I wanted more from these Florida State white tontos out here. I wanted y'all to actually get a real engine down there as y'all mascot that be on that damn horse. Instead of getting white tonto, white tonto, white tonto says we lose to Georgia Tech, Yellow Jackets today by three points. DJ Uga Uga Bugu Lehi is still garbage, garbage ass performance by DJ Uga Lehi. He had six carries for seven yards, seven yards, one, two, three, four, five, five plus two, seven yards. Florida State, y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all Y'all still recovering from that ass whooping. My Georgia Bulldogs gave y'all in the Orange Bowl. One of the most epic ass whoopings in college football bowl game history. But besides that, this just goes to show you that Florida State ain't about that life. It's, uh, it's up for grabs in the ACC. These Georgia Tech nerds, they're a middle of the road team. Georgia Tech ain't never going to be nothing. And Florida being ranked number 10, when this game was still going on and at the start of the game. This just goes to show you how lackluster Florida State is as a team. They're not focused on trying to win games with middle-of-the-road garbage can teams like Georgia Tech. And this just goes to show you that anything can happen in the college football world. Just because you're ranked don't mean that you can be beat. Don't mean that you can just come out here and beat all these teams. If you lose to middle-of-the-road garbage can teams like Georgia Tech, who else you going to lose to on your schedule? I ain't even going to give you the opportunities or the possibilities like a cup of Campbell's chicken noodle soup and even realize that y'all don't got y'all shit together. The damn defense, Florida State defense is ass. I thought y'all would have improved after last season, after y'all crying, bitching, moaning, complaining about not getting into the college football playoffs. This is one of many examples that y'all wasn't ready to be in no damn playoffs. Y'all are not a playoff contender team. Hell, this season, the way that this offense is looking, the way that this defense is looking, y'all might not even win the ACC. Georgia Tech, they might win something, but they ain't winning no ACC. That's just my opinion, and that's just damn facts. Miami, they might could do something if they ever build a damn stadium. They got all that cocaine money down there in Miami, but they don't even got their own stadium for their players to play in. The ACC is up for grabs. Hell, you might see Louisville back in the um ACC championship game again. Anybody can be ACC champions right about now. It's a weak conference. Ain't never been an elite conference like that over the past couple of years. Clemson? After this ass whooping, my Georgia Bulldogs give them um next week. They possibly can win the um ACC championship, but I speak on that. I speak on that in a later um video um when it leads up to that next week. But besides that, Florida State, y'all need your ass whoop. Mike Norvell, you need your ass whoop. Y'all went all the way to the land of potatoes, four leaf clovers, and expired boxes of Lucky Charms to lose to a middle of the road dumpster juice dumpster fire team like Georgia Tech. We already know Georgia Tech is not a playoff contender, contending team. Georgia Tech most likely will go 7-5 this year, if that, or 8-4. and four. If they possibly can win certain games, that they might be slightly a little better than some of these teams on their damn schedule. But besides that, Florida State, y'all need y'all ass whoop. I know all the Florida State fans are still scratching their heads like Vince McMahon getting a Stone Cold Stunner and being confused, lackluster, and just damn outright flabbergasted of how this, this damn team performed in this game today. DJ Ungalei, a.k.a. the ukulele, a.k.a. the journeyman, he still hasn't learned from anything and possibly improved on anything as a quarterback. This motherfucker is straight Basuda. You made Haynes King look like he was actually knowing what he was doing. How Haynes King had more rushing yards than you, DJ Ungalei? Yeah, I know you built like a statue with super glue uh, stuck between both of your legs, but come on now. The running game on Florida State side of the field is not up to par. Georgia Tech had more rushing yards than y'all, and you made them look like they knew what they was doing on, I want to say both sides of the field because both defenses is pure trash, but this just goes to show you that this team is not looking forward to actually winning something 
possibly not actually trying to win the ACC championship game. Most likely, if they keep going like this, I know this is the first game of the season, but this just goes to show you that Florida State don't got their priorities together. And this is all I'm going to say before I get up out of here because I got to um, rest and I got to get ready for, you know, this ass whooping we're about to give these um, Clemson baby Tigers next week. You know, my Georgia Bulldogs back in effect, you know. So besides that, Florida State hold this L. Possibly your season is over with. Shout out to Uncle Lou, but we'll just have to see in the next coming of weeks if you can beat a middle-of-the-road garbage can team. And possibly we'll see what you can do throughout the whole season. But DJ Ugale, the um ukulele, he's definitely gonna have to improve. Um uh, the running the running game, the run game definitely gonna have to improve, and the defense definitely gonna have to learn how to not eat popcorn with extra melted butter on the sideline instead of just, you know, missing loose tackles like you know, Georgia Tech's um players just like the greased up deaf guy. You're never gonna catch me. Touchdown, Georgia Tech, gang when you field goal. See you next year. But this just goes to show you that Florida State ain't ready for primetime football. They ain't ready to be college football playoffs uh, contenders. They ain't ready to be national champions, and they damn so ain't ready to beat middle-of-the-road garbage can teams like Georgia Tech. But that's all I have to say. Like, share, cover, subscribe, and tell me, uh, Florida State fans, um, do you need more white tontos out here on horses, or do you need to just sit down, play, and just act like you're doing something?